Hey guys, Delta here, and yes, this is going to be a deck profile of Tristan's Virtual World deck. Um, we've been doing a lot of the deck profiles of revised decks, like the big five decks, we updated a little bit for Virtual World Wave. We updated Tristan a little bit as well, so that's why we're going to show you a deck profile of his. We had originally listed as a hybrid, but considering it's really just based off of his Virtual World deck, so like Super Robo Yaru, the Eight Forces, the cards we saw him play in Virtual World the one time he played, it only makes sense to call it a Virtual World deck. Um, now, obviously, we, we didn't see that many of Tristan's cards, and many of the ones we saw they don't make, like Sabra Commander, which they make in the OCG, but not the TCG. Uh, Command Angel, obviously, they don't make. Uh, so, alas, we had to work with what we have, but this really does feel like a Tristan deck to us. So, uh, yeah, just starting off, we have two Launcher Spider. So, this card was seen in his hand. Um, it fits his... He had, like, Sabra Commander, Command Angel, um... Seemed like sort of uh, like Super OBR, sort of like a machine military type theme. Um, I think that's what the wiki describes as, and it makes sense why this would be in his hand then, um, because it is a machine. Um, it's uh, two tributes. Not not much more to really say about that. If you notice, we use the uh, alternate art. Uh, the original art's in Keith's deck. We figured why not give Tristan the alternate art, differentiate a little bit. Then we have three Robo Lady. Um, obviously it's just one of the pieces of a uh, Super Robo Yaru. Robayar being the other piece. Uh, we included three, obviously, just to make sure Tristan can make uh, his deck master as much as possible. Here's three Robayaru. Um, slightly better than Robo Lady because it has the 900 attack and 450 defense, whereas she's the 450 attack and 900 defense. But um, neither of them are that great. <laughs> You'll set them to absorb attacks. Use them for Super Robayaru, you know, what have you. Um, I mean, Tristan didn't actually have these because Robayaru was his deck master, so he didn't actually need to summon it as a fusion. Um, because we, we build the decks to, to stand without any kind of deck masters at all, we need to include them. And obviously, you know, they make sense to be in his deck, considering he did have Super Robo Yaru. So, that's six monsters right there, and then plus a two monster spider. And then Sengenjin, and this was seen in his hand as well. And, you know, some of you may know that we don't always include cards just seen in players' hands. It's not our favorite thing to do, um, especially if we have, like, 40 unique cards, say it's like a Ballast AUB deck. If we have 40 cards he actually played, no need to include cards seen in the hand. However, for a character where almost none of their cards exist, you do have to include some cards from hand. <clears throat> so Sang Engine's uh, oh, an example of that. And it's two tributes just like Launcher Spider, but it's a decent bit more powerful. Command Knight. Um, very similar to Command Angel. Um, I feel like they just... I don't know why we haven't gotten Command Angel yet. Um, Konami sort of, you know, makes cards with similar names and similar effects that I guess you'd call, like, an archetype. So I'm surprised they don't have, like, Command Angel, and that's a sort of an archetype. You know, Command Knight boosts Warriors Attack by 400. Command Angel boosts Fairies Attack by 400. They both have 1,200 Attack, 1,900 Defense. You know, like, for example, Konami has the Barrier Statues. Barrier Statue, the best Barrier Statue, the Torrent, all do the same thing just for their specific attribute. I'm surprised that Konami hasn't released more, you know, like... Command Snake, whatever, which is Reptile. Command Magician, which boosts Magicians. You know, it has 12 Attack, 19 Defense. So we're surprised they haven't made more like that. Um, Command Knight's the only one we have, but in in lieu of not having Command Angel, uh, we felt Command Knight fit fairly well, being that it's so similar. And Tristan had like the A Forces in his hand, um, so we felt like you know giving a little bit of a warrior theme there uh, was was okay. Um, and then he has Lava Balagard, which is a warrior. This is his card from Duelist Kingdom that he gave to Joey when Joey was talking about having Swamp Balagard. And then um, Joey actually summoned both of them in a duel. And, you know, it was sort of like, oh, look, you, when you and me are on the field, Tristan, you know, when Lava Balagard, Swamp Balagard will be so cool and undefeatable. Um, but, yeah, I mean, this was his card, so it would make sense to include it. Um, and then it just... It, Further, I guess, evidence of a warrior theme with Tristan. But yeah, so, um, two of those. Uh, Tomb Rod and Captain. Um, you know, they use a lot, a lot of Legacy of Darkness and, uh, decent, sometimes a lot of Nightmare cards in Virtual World. Um, so we figured, considering this is from that right time period, and, you know, it, it's good with Command Knight, um, it fits the whole warrior theme, you know, works with the A-Forces, which was in Tristan's hand. We felt it made sense to include a couple, um... I mean, obviously, guys, if we if, if Konami gives a Cyber Commander from the OCG, if we get Command Angel, um, Rare Metal Soul, you know, other cards that Tristan played, we would obviously drop some of the cards 
that he didn't play, but this is what we have to work with for now. Um, so, doing the best we can. Somebody else could always build a Tristan deck differently, you know, maybe see things they'd like to include that they think fits Tristan. This is what we think fits Tristan and fills out his deck well. One Swamp Alagard. Because this was Joey's and he didn't actually have it, um, we felt like only including one. But we did include it because it is the counterpart to Lava Balagard, which, like we said, is a Tristan card. And um, it's better than Lava Balagard. Same thing with the Robo Lady, Robo R situation. This guy is the one with a little more attack. The next card in Tristan's deck is two Battle Fusion. Now, your first thought might be, but this is the GX card. Well, what's Battle Fusion doing there? We included Battle Fusion because it is very similar in effect to Rare Metal Soul. They were both quick play cards that boosted a fusion monster's attack. And in fact, Rare Metal Soul was what uh, Duke activated that was set on Tristan's field in order to power up Joan to win the duel against Nesbitt. So because we had a card that closely resembled the effect of Rare Metal Soul and... Um, because Rare Metal Soul was so relevant to uh, to the duel that Tristan played in, we felt like it was worth it to include Battle Fusion to replicate that effect. Um, you know, do we always want to include a GX card in an original anime deck? No, we would rather not. But, you know, like you'll see with this deck and many others, the general theme here is that when Konami doesn't leave us with enough cards and doesn't print some of the cards the character actually played, we have to use whatever we have that makes the most sense. And that's what we did with Battle Fusion. This is this is one of the recent changes. Um, you know, Launcher Spire we recently added too. So, if you're wondering why we're doing an update deck profile, it's because we made a couple significant changes. Battle Fusion being one of the biggest. And then we have three block attack, which Tristan actually did play. So, um, thankfully, they make this. And you know, this card was also used in Virtual World by Joey. Um, it definitely seems like they had a lot of characters use the same cards, like Tay used Skalangle and Johnson used Skalangle. Um, you know, things like that. They definitely seem to double up on cards. But yeah, so Tristan needs block attack. Three automatically go in there. Um, and it's a pretty good card. It can just help you get over monsters. It's one half the effect of Book of Moon. It's missing the flip the face down effect, which in, sometimes can be relevant, but it's still got that put in defense to make it easy to get over. Defusion. Um, being that he has Super Robiaru and Polymerization, like many characters with Polymerization, we include Defusion as well. Um, you know, it makes sense to us if he's going to be making fusions. It's fairly logical. And we have Double Snare, which was seen in his hand. We only included one uh, because there's no guarantee he'll be able to use it. It uh, only works on Jinzo, Royal Decree, um, some other cards that do negate traps. Um, there are some others out there you could activate it on. You couldn't activate it on something like Seven Tools of the Bandit because... It's a regular spell card, it couldn't be chained. Uh, so because of its limited use, um, we wanted to only include one. Also, it seems like it was in a lot of players' hands in the virtual world. So uh, unlike something like the A-Forces uh, or Launcher Spider, which was pretty specifically in Tristan's hand, they seems like it may have been a little more generic. They sort of just put it in players' hands to put it there. So uh, one double snare. Um, you know, Like I said, obviously you need to find a 40-card deck for Tristan somehow. Monster Born. I mean, what more needs to be said? Just about every character would play it. Um, if you told me that Tristan, for some specific reason, couldn't have played Monster Reborn, it would surprise me, because it's, it's such a um, ubiquitous card. Um, and for that reason, we included it. Three Polymerization uh, to make Super Obiaru. Not much more to really say there. Two Pot of Greed. Same thing as Monster Reborn. This is just such a ubiquitous card. It's so prevalent in Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, that we felt it would make sense for Tristan to have it. Um, you know, gotta give him, gotta give him something, and you know, Pop just just helps any deck. Um, especially when so many decks have it too. You know, it's um, it's almost like if you don't Pop in your deck, you feel like you have a little bit of a disadvantage. Two, Reinforcement of the Army. Uh, this lets you search out his warriors. Um, this is again a, a Legacy of Darkness card, which is, you know, the time period we see a lot of the cards in the virtual world come from. Um, fits the sort of like worry theme he has going on. Unfortunately, it's level four lower monsters, so that means you can't search Swamp or Lava Balagard with it, which is a little unfortunate. But um, I find when we play Tristan's deck, Swamp and Lava Balagard don't come down that much. Um, sometimes it's not even the greatest idea to tribute a monster for them. Like most of the time, like I wouldn't tribute a Moran Captain or a Command Knight for them. Tribute maybe like a Set Robo Lady, a Set Robo Yaru. Uh, three, the A Forces. 
like we said, this card was seen in his hand. Um, so if he has some warriors in the deck, it helps him out. Uh, those warriors being the battle guards, commanding a uh, knight, I almost said command angel, um, Moran captain. Now, if you have command knight out and every warrior is getting 400 attack, and then you have the A forces, it means every warrior is just hands down getting 600 attack. That is a pretty big boost. Um, if you have command knight and marauding captain, well, now every warrior on the field gains 400 for A forces because it's 200 for each warrior spellcast you have. And 400 for Command Knight, that's 800 total. That's not that hard of a combo to do, and it puts a Command Knight up at a whopping 2,000, and Ron Captain up at 1,800. Definitely one of Tristan's good plays. Um, his, deck, his deck has strong plays, even if it's not always the best, because you have some weak vanillas, and he does have a lot of spells, and you have a decent amount of tributes. To the Warrior Returning Alive. Um, this can grab... Swamp and Lava Battle Guard, because this doesn't have to be warriors of a specific level. I mean, you can also recycle um, um, Command Knight, Marauding Captain. Uh, it's not a bad card. Um, not the greatest, and if you open up with it and no warriors, obviously it's not that good. But it's usually, usually something that gives you a little bit of value. To Mitch Azuri. Um, so this is one of the pretty recently included cards, too. Uh, Mr. Zay is a card we saw go around quite a lot. Um, Duke played it uh, way back when he opened up some Pharaoh Servant-esque packs. It was played um, by the Big Five. Um, it was played by Taya, pretty sure. So it's definitely a card that we saw go around a lot. It's a, it's a generic card. It's not something like a Mirror Force or Crush Card Virus that we didn't see quite as many players play. Um, so we felt it, it, it made sense to include in Tristan's deck. Um, it is sort of give Tristan a way around powerful monsters too, um, which is never a bad thing for a deck to have. Um, it's just a card that that whose inclusion makes sense to us, and um, especially you know you like like a weak Robo Yard you get run over in the Mitch is already never uh, never bad. And then Tristan's last card is two negate attack. Um, this is just like a, another sort of generic, um, not specific character card like you know. Uh, Crush card virus examples like that. So uh, we felt it made sense to include in Tristan's deck. It gives him a little bit of defense too. Um, you know, we didn't see Tristan play uh, any traps. So if we have to fill a forty card deck, well, we're going to consider we're going to consider all our options. And we did consider a lot of other cards. We did drop a lot of cards in Tristan's deck at some point. But when we're considering cards, if we find traps that we think fits the deck, well, we would definitely like to include those. And you know, negate attack makes sense to us. You know, again, um, there's certainly things we would like to have in the deck. We wish we had Cyber Commander and we could drop some of the cards that Tristan didn't actually play. But with what we have to work with, um, that's what we felt made sense for 40 card Tristan deck. Um, it does feel like Tristan when you play it, and um, it's not too good, which uh, Tristan definitely wasn't the best duelist and definitely didn't pick the best cards. So, um, you know, it's not like a super crazy powerful deck. Like, uh, you know, Jesse's, like a lot of Kaiba decks, uh, you know, like Marek. You know, so um, it, it plays well. And then Tristan's last card at three is his deck master. Um, this is a good fusion to go into. Um, if you notice the white sticker, we do have it errated. Um, you can check out our errata document in the description that lists all our erratas. We don't do that many, but we do have to do them sometimes. And you can also check out our deck list document, which has all the deck lists typed up, including Tristan's. But yeah, Super Robo Yaru is errated because in the anime, when it battled an opponent's monster, it would gain a thousand attack, put it up to a respectable 2200. When they printed it, they made it so it only gained a thousand attack when it inflicts direct damage, which is it's not that good. It's not easy to inflict direct damage with a 1200 attack monster because most, most opponent's monsters you summon it into, it has no way of getting over. So this puts it back up to that sort of like good boss side monster, you know, puts it back to what it was for Tristan. You know, having it errata just makes it. Makes it actually work as as a, a good good uh, fusion monster for Tristan. So that's definitely something we were in favor of, and that errata is pretty recent too. But three of because it's a deck master, and with three Robo Yarn and three Robo Lady, three polymerization as well, you can actually make three. So that's it for Tristan's deck. Uh, like we said, the deck list is typed up down below. Um, we we like it. We think it feels like Tristan's deck. Um, let us know what you guys think as always. You know, uh, look for 
you know, more cool content to come. We're doing our character deck tournament soon. That will be eight of our original anime decks versus eight of our GX decks. We'll pair them against each other. Go until one deck remains standing. It's something a lot of you have expressed interest in. It's going to be a ton of duels. It's going to be awesome. Look forward to that. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Click the ads if you want to. And, you know, you like us. It throws a little money our way. Thank you guys so much. And YGO Anime Games out.